So we're not in the restaurant today in Bristol, we're at my home in London, um, a cooperative and I'm quite proud of it because we've got this huge veg patch behind us which I'm using some of the berries for for the recipes today. We're going to make a sourdough summer pudding with uh, seasonal berries at the moment. We've got loads of strawberries which are peak season. You can see they're huge and, and completely abundant and cheap. Um, cherries and raspberries and uh, some uh, Logan berries as well. Maybe I should grab them now. That looks better. Okay, so our first job is to boil the fruit. We need about 500 grams. I've got blackberries and raspberries in there. And then I'm gonna pip a few cherries in to give it a bit of diversity and extra flavor. I'm gonna use the Barnes and Webb honey. Okay, I've, I've picked this up from uh, my friend at uh, E5 Bakery. He doesn't actually, his bakery isn't actually in E5 anymore. He started it in E5 and now his bakery's in E8. So he's got E8 honey selling it in his E8 bakery, which is great. Mm. It's really lemony. It's almost like lemon curd. It's delicious. We're going to use about 50 grams, which, or two kind of tablespoons. So I'm going to spike the summer pudding with some gin. About 25 mil, and then 50 mil of water so that we have plenty of juice, so that the bread soaks it all up and gets that beautiful pink colour and then some lemon juice just to give us a little bit of extra sourness. So now I'm going to pop it on the heat and bring it to the boil and then take it off and it will be ready for us to use. The crusts are absolutely delicious and my favourite bit so I'm not going to waste them, I'm going to make them into migas which is a kind of Spanish dish that you'd use to replace um, your carbs in the meal and you just chop them up and then soak them in water for a minute and then fry them with whatever flavours you like. I'm going to fry these with some mushrooms and garlic and serve them like a meze with some halloumi cheese. ready to go. So you've only got to bring them to the boil and then take them straight off because we want to keep some texture there, we don't want them to break down into a, com into, into a compote. So now we're going to line our pudding basin. It's very easy. Just pop the bread in with another piece next to it. So they overlap just very slightly and then just press them in together. When our pudding basin is lined and you could use any kind of bowl we can put our warm fruits inside but leave most of the juice behind okay once all your fruits in there press it down so it's nice and compact and then fold the bread over the top forming a lid just going to pour some of this juice on top you don't want it to be too wet otherwise it won't set so save some of the juice back to kind of decorate the plates later. Okay, so we're going to put a plate on top and weight it down. I'm using my pestle and mortar, which I seem to use for everything. Um, but you could use anything that's got a bit of heaviness to it, even a, even a clean stone. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge overnight and then it'll be ready tomorrow to serve. Okay, right, so this has been resting in the fridge overnight. So let's take it off. Okay, there we go. It's a really interesting pink, <laughs> quite vibrant. Now hopefully this is gonna come out in one go. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Amazing, it didn't collapse. <laughs> so now 
I'm just going to decorate it with a few extra berries just to make it a little, little bit pretty. It's nice to kind of pile on the extra fruit. And then I'm going to put as much cream as I can possibly get on top. Let's get this. Get a nice dollop on top. With an extra couple of cherries. So this is a sourdough summer pudding with seasonal berries.